they're trying to destroy our constitutional republic. Look up in the history books. All of the most tyrannical regimes in the history of the world were constitutional republics, were democratically elected constitutional republics that had a constitution which included a Bill of Rights. They didn't all call it that because most of them were other languages, but they were all that. So no, it doesn't make you great and learned and wise to believe in a constitutional republic. The Soviet Union was a constitutional republic, democratically elected with a Bill of Rights. Communist China was a democratically elected constitutional republic with a Bill of Rights. Of course, Bill of Rights didn't do any good. People got stomped on anyway, just like they get stomped on here, despite the first 10 amendments to the US Constitution. But you're not allowed to, huh? but they do anyway. Why? Because that's what government does. That's why some of us have figured out that to be pro-humanity, you have to be anti-government. So I am anti-democracy, anti-republic. I'm a fringe extremist. I'm an anarchist because that means I don't want anyone ruling you or me or anybody else. Doesn't mean I run around throwing Molotov cocktails. It means I actually believe in equality and freedom. That I believe everybody should be left to do whatever they want as long as they're not committing aggression or fraud against somebody else. You do whatever you want. That's, it's your life. You get to run it. Now, the people who believe in politics pretend to believe that, but no, they don't, because then they turn around and vote for people who they know damn well are going to pass and enforce laws restricting your choices, not just laws against don't steal and don't murder people, but laws against a billion things that you haven't even read, 1% uh, of the laws that are out there, and neither have I, controlling all manner of choices that they have no business controlling. So, yeah. Please stop insulting me by calling the Proud Boys or Antifa anti-government, because no, they're not. Or anti-democracy, because no, they're not. Or anti-republic, because no, they're not. Enemies of the state, no, they're not. They're a bunch of bootlickers who just want the state using its violence for their interests at the expense of somebody else. By the way, if you vote, that's you too. You are just trying to get someone into power or a party into power who will use the violence of the state, the force of law, in a way that you think will benefit you at the expense of somebody else's freedom and property and freedom to choose for themselves how to live their lives. That makes you an enemy of humanity. I am absolutely an enemy of government because government is the enemy of humanity by its very nature. There is not and cannot be a government which just protects individual rights. If there were an organization that did that, it wouldn't be government by any sane definition. It couldn't tax, it couldn't legislate, it wouldn't have any jurisdiction, it wouldn't have any monopoly on anything. It would be some people deciding to protect some other people. I'm all in favor of that. I'm all in favor of cooperation and organization. What I am not in favor of, and the thing which makes government government, is the idea that certain people have special rights. Or to put it another way, that certain people have an exemption from morality. They're allowed to rob you if they call it taxation. They're allowed to violently limit your peaceful choices if they call it law and legislation and regulation. No, they're not. Humanity is the arch enemy of government. Government is the arch enemy of humanity.